Hi, my name is Hendrik Munyeke and today we'll be discussing intervals. Come with me and let's explore what intervals are. Now the big question is, what is an interval? An interval is distance between two notes, right? Interval is distance between two consecutive notes. We have what you call harmonic intervals. Harmonic intervals. And we have what you call melodic intervals. Right? So what are harmonic intervals? Harmonic, harmonic intervals are intervals that are played simultaneously like a chord and melodic intervals are intervals that are played one after the other like a melody, right? So from C to D, it's an interval. From C, from C to E, it's an interval. From uh, C to F, it's another interval and so on and so on. Now the big th uh, thing here is that you guys need to know your keyboard very well from C to the next C. So maybe let's just uh, recheck quickly. Uh, from C to C sharp, it's a semitone which is half step, right? From C to C sharp, from C sharp to D, from D to D sharp, from E to E, uh, to F, and then from F to F sharp, from G to G sharp, from A to A sharp, from B to C, and so forth. So going back this way, from C to B, to B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, then C. So that's where we actually get things called, uh, what do you call, um, enharmonics, enharmonics, or enharmonic, harmonic equivalents. What are enharmonics or enharmonic equivalents? Enharmonics or enharmonic equivalents are notes that sound the same but named differently, like myself. Uh, I've got two names. My other name is Hendrik, and my uh, other name is um, Itumeleng. So if somebody is calling me Itumeleng and the other one is calling me Hendrik, they're still referring to, to the same person. They're still calling me. So uh, that's what enharmonics are in, in a nutshell. Okay. So we're going to take uh, some little exercises uh, on intervals and let's see what we can do. So come with me. All uh, right. Then we have major intervals, we have minor intervals, we have perfect intervals, we have augmented intervals, then we have diminished intervals, okay? So as in tone degrees, we have as in like your first degree, uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, right? So eighth here it's referred to as an octave, and then first it's referred to as unison. So uh, we have, therefore we have perfect first or unison, we have perfect fourth, perfect fifth, perfect ave or octave. Then what is an opposite of major? An opposite of major is minor. So we have a major second, major third, major sixth, major seventh, right? So then we, it means we can also have an opposite of that minor second, minor third, minor sixth, and minus seventh, okay? So, okay. So, major, minor, perfect, remains perfect. So, uh, then it means um, augmented, augmented intervals and diminished intervals can either be uh, any of these uh, um, um, numbers or distances. So, when we're dealing with, another thing is that when we're dealing with intervals, we're dealing with distance, or number, can we, we can call it number, sorry, number and 
kind or type. Sorry. So, so when you're dealing with intervals, we're dealing with distance and kind. So you need to uh, uh, name your type or kind, and then also name the distance or the number. Either the interval is going to be second, third, sixth, or seventh, or eighth, or so. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's take some exercises. Let's look at some uh, exercises right here in front of me. Uh, here's a question that says, describe fully, e.g., minor, third, perfect, fifth, and so on, each of these harmonic intervals. So now this is how harmonic intervals looks like. Like we said, we said harmonic intervals are uh, uh, intervals that are played simultaneous, simultaneously like a chord. Ne? And then uh, we said melodic intervals are intervals that are played one after the other uh, like a melody. So this, in this case, we are doing harmonic intervals. So we are in the key, th the first thing that you're going to look at, you're going to look at the key signature that indicates the key. The key signature, indi uh, the key signature indicates the key. So what, what is, uh, um, and by the way, this, this chord or this interval can either be in a major key or in a minor key. So two flats, that's your B flat major and then the relative minor of B flat major, which is G minor. So the root of this would, or will actually tell us uh, what is our, um, our, our interval. So in, in intervals, we're dealing with distance and kind. So we got the fifth, right, as our distance or number, whatever, uh, whatever way you can call it, distance or number, so that's your fifth so let's quickly check what is our kind. Is it, is it going to be major or minor or perfect or augmented or diminished? Ne? So now another thing quickly, anything more than a major, anything more than major is augmented and anything less than minor is diminished. Anything more than perfect is augmented and anything less than perfect is diminished. So quickly let's check check that. So that's from A to E flat in terms of distance, it's a fifth, and then what kind of a fifth? If it was from A to E, it was going to be a, 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 a perfect fifth. So it can't be a perfect fifth. So I just said anything less than perfect is diminished. So this is going to be a diminished fifth interval all right so that's in a nutshell how you actually approach um, such questions about intervals so let's go look at the second one and uh, we've got two notes here we're starting to count from the bottom note uh, which is your a is going to be uh, sorry is, which is going to be a c uh, it's going to be c one two three four five six seven in terms of distance it's your seventh uh, that's from C to to B, from C to B, that's a major seventh. Why are we saying it's a major seventh? Because in the key of C major, there are no sharps, no flats, all notes are natural. So that's it about intervals. Um, yeah.